Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and the Silver Surfer Annual, issue number one, this is 2018, so psst, that one. Um, okay, I can't tell you too much about this book. I'm going to tell you exactly what I could tell you. Just a couple of moments. <laughs> I gotta, gotta point out who did this book. So, this book is called Facing the Music. Uh, Ethan Sachs is the writer, Andre Lima Ar Aruello. Uh, Chris O'Halloran is the colorist, VCs Travis Lanham is the editor and cover artist, Philip Tan and Marty Garcia, variant cover art by Marcos Martin. Oh God, what a beautiful book this was. Um, so each, each panel in this is telling you a story. I'm not joking when I say this, every single panel in this book is telling us a story and it's amazing absolutely amazing how they're pulling this off and everything that happens in this book is just it, it's it's wicked and it begs you to read the next issue and you can't or to, to read the next panel and you can't wait to get to it like the next panel can never come fast enough and it's crazy how good this is and if I were to tell you much of anything about this book, it would spoil the book for you. It would ruin the story for you. Um, because the ending is so crucial to a Silver Surfer story. Sachs did an amazing job writing this book. And I gotta give it, man. I know I butchered the names of the people who drew this book, and I am so sorry. But Araulo and uh, O'Halloran... Oh my God, dude, such absolute amazing work in this issue. Like this, I don't know about blowing me away, but it's a beautiful book. When you see the end, it's one of those moments. I, I, I have two examples I could give you, but if I give them to you, I'm going to ruin it. So I can't do that to you. What I can say, though, is that we know that he eventually remembers I, honestly, saying that, I feel like I gave too much. If you if you haven't read the book yet and you're like, what are you talking about? Read the book and then come back and listen to this review again. What I just said, you'd be like, not only do I know what he's talking about, but I even know the two examples, at least one or one of those two examples that he's talking about. Yeah, and I'm more than happy to explain them later at some other point, like maybe at the podcast uh, on Saturdays, 8 o'clock on Saturdays, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern New York time. Uh... Sick, dude. Sick. Absolutely gorgeous book, man. And at this point, I need to read a lot more by Ethan Sachs. Uh, wow. Wow. This genuinely feels like one of those old Jim Starlin style books. One of those old, um, did, I don't think Stan Lee ever wrote these. It was mostly, um, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name? The King, Jack Kirby, who wrote these, you know what I'm saying? He, he did most of the work, but as far as like the beautiful words and whatnot, I think, you know, Stan did do a lot. I, I, we know for a fact he did do a lot. Uh, we were already told by Jim Starlin that he did do a lot. Um, but separating what each of them did is, is a little bit harder, but I'm telling you, man, I think this is one of those books that readers from the nineties and the eighties will, will be able to go back and look at and say, yeah, this is my silver surfer of old. This was, such an amazing issue and I almost feel like it's crucial for what comes next and, and it almost feels like it ended too fast you know I've, I feel like this could have been a novel this really could have just been a novel man this didn't have to be a comic at all uh, it could have been both it could still be both all right guys I, I cannot heap enough praise upon this this was such a great book all right that's it I'm out Professor Bill Comic Book University class dismissed